All right, guys, so two unusual things happened. First of all, I played a fighter all the way through. And then second, when I was done recording it, I realized I was recording on stereo mix instead of my microphone, so I only got game audio. But that's okay. Uh, the game was World Heroes 2, as you just saw. So I'm gonna try and do some post-commentary for the first time ever. So I went into the options, I was like, whatever. And I was not, a, I didn't know what this game was at the time, until I saw this and I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Is this just, like, a ripoff of Street Fighter? Because it looks exactly like it, it looks like they just skinned all the characters and changed it up. Uh, I think it's made by the same people though, and uh, s surprised was I when I found out this game is actually really fun. I don't even like fighters, but it's just so ridiculous, and as you'll see really soon, the characters are, are wacky. All of them. Every one of them is wacky. And later on, I just, I rip through everyone with a certain character. So our first matchup is uh, the Fuma Man, which I chose just because it, it, make, it references MST3K's Puma Man. At least, that's what I was referencing. Because I always want to be the Fuma Man. And this isn't the first time I've been the Fuma Man. There was another game I was the Fuma Man. So this, this skinny ass bitch starts kicking my ass. But then I, I quickly realized that all of the moves are very similar to Super, or I mean Street Fighter 2. So I, I quickly find out that half the characters have a Hadouken and I start spamming it like crazy. And it's about to happen right here. That is not the Hadouken, that's just, that's like the Hadouken on a different button. So I, I played through this whole game and like, out of the four buttons, I only use two of them ever. I don't even know if the other two even do anything. The shoulder buttons don't do anything, at least I don't think they do, they might taunt. And I think it was X and Y didn't do anything, it was all A and B. So I, I won this, this round real quick and I was like, what the fuck? So as you can see in the background, there's, there's some dancing monks. It's kind of kind of unusual. I've never seen Dancing Mox, and there's a not-so-angry Buddha over there in the corner. I don't, I don't know what that body shuriken shit's about, but it's amusing. So I, I spammed the crap out of that for a while. I, I stuck with... I stuck with Fuma Man until I died, and then I just started trying every character. And actually, I pretty much... I got raped by this this pirate. There's a pirate in this game, and that's that's what really made me start laughing. That, that's to come in a little while. So let's just enjoy the dancing monks while I, I beat up on this scrawny dude. He didn't show he didn't like have any challenge at all. Things get a little ridiculous later with that pirate though. I go through pretty much half the cast losing to that pirate. So I won my first round! That's not too unusual, I've done that before. And then we head over to Japan. Where we fight Ryu, I mean, Ryoko. Ryoko kicked my ass once. I think, actually, that's what happened. I, like, each person seemed to kick my ass once, then I'd switch and kill them. At least for a while. I even thought I was gonna win this shit. Cause I mean, how can you how can you lose spamming Hadoken? I'll tell you how by having a broken joystick that doesn't always work. That's how. It actually kind of broke halfway through, and that's par partially why I kept losing to the pirate. Because my joystick, you see, it has this weird tendency, like. I don't know, I, it broke when, from playing too much Smash Brothers with Southpaw. And now it like, twists back and forth freely, and if you twist it too far when actually using it, it kind of like, gets stuck to the side, and it it's kind of sucks, but whatever. It still works. I'm too lazy to buy a new one. So as you can see, spamming, spamming Hadoken and, and self Hadoken didn't work so well, and I ran out of time. That actually surprised me, I was like, what the fuck's going on? I can't do anything! And then I realized, oh, no time. 
So as you can see in the background, there's uh, this guy and two people kind of jacking off next to him while a guy plays drums. And then those two people in the those two people in the corner like hold hands and like raise their legs. Are they both women? I can't really tell. I'm actually watching this in a shrunk window at the moment. So I completely failed this round in every possible way. And that's when I realized there were grab moves. I don't know why I didn't think of it before, but they become very, 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 very useful later. Like, you'll see. Pretty much the half, last half of this playthrough is, is grab moves. And not just grab moves, the same grab move. It pretty much dominates this game. So she beats the crap out of me, and you can see the two women are like, Oh, I love you! And then I'm like, over in the right corner, I'm like, I guess this was a win-win situation, you could say. And that's when I did that. And that's that's where everybody goes, do-ho-ho-ho. Ho. But you don't have to, because it's stupid. I'm good at bad jokes, that's my thing. So I, I look through the, the characters here, and I choose Muscle Power, because how can you say no to a name like that? So we go back to Japan again. We go back to Ryoko again. And this time I win through the power of a giant bulge in my crotch. This guy has almost nothing but grab moves and like a fly across the screen jump kick. And that makes sense because he's a wrestler. But no women can win against this manliness, surely. Kicked in the crotch, the ultimate way to die. Number one! Number one! That didn't seem like a really effective move there, guy, but thanks for that. I jump over her head like that so much, it's funny. She's almost dead, but why kill her when I can jump over her head repeatedly, you know? Oh, she actually won this round. That's the next round I jump over her head repeatedly. Oh, I love you, Ryoko! I love you too, Ryoko! We're so in love with you! That's that that mouse cursor right there was when I was like, what the hell are they doing? So yeah. This is not a very interesting fight. The real reason I kept playing this comes soon. It's after I switch from this character. I think it's the next round, in fact. Number one! I am aware of my power, thank you very much. So then we go to America, and the first thing you'll see in America, other than a football player of course, because that's what America does, is a bunch of moonwalking homeless people. Moonwalking homeless people. So as, as I would have mentioned at the end of this match, if I had been recording properly, uh, there's nothing redeeming about this entire match for the next two rounds except those moonwalking homeless people. I swear, is that really what Japan thinks of us? Just 
football and homeless people? Because it's kind of true, I guess.